Welcome everybody to the Fighting Couch Potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. My right. name. <laughs> All right. My name is Liquid Gold Steve, and I am joined by Kadolfi Crush. Let's get some nerd shit happening. And Matt Matt Jacrispy. The crispy Matt. The crispy Matt Matt. Crispy Matt. The crisp Matt. <laughs> Try not to have three oh, different names. Oh, Matic. Crispo Matt. Crispo Matt. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Can't even get through his introduction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the couch potatoes, the fighters of our podcast. Yes, sir. This is just the first episode. We're getting this shit together, but we really want to talk about some nerd shit. Gaming, anime, every, a little bit of everything. And we figured we'd get together, put a microphone in front of us, and see what kind of funny shit happens. So, what brings us together today? Well, today is how the journey begins. Right. How we thought of this idea. How we wanted to enlighten the masses of our awesomeness. Enlighten is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> some maybe. people going to lose some brain cells yeah, after this. Bit, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, you guys want me to start? Yeah, you're hey, awesome. Man, kick it all right, all right. Right. What's up? Well, I'm a guy that uh, always video game my whole life. Pretty much up to... Yeah, I was like, I was five years old fucking putting peanut butter and jelly on my dad's uh, Spider-Man in the PlayStation. <laughs> Broke his shit. I'm a gamer for life. Uh, <laughs> um, I really got into anime um, later in my life, but I've show I've seen that it's a very, it's a great outlet. It's a wonderful, um, you can get invested very quickly, just like a video game, just like comic books. I'm a comic book, um, comic book fan, everybody too, but I'm not. Flash t-shirt. But yeah, in my Flash T-shirt and my Batman symbol on my arm, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm not. I'm not the biggest comic book, but hey, not the best comic book. Biggest comic book. <laughs> he's, not, Damn. he's not a comic book at all last time. Like, you were people. <laughs> I don't have papers and I don't have color on top of me. You want the more Rick and Morty dimensions and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where people are books. <laughs> well, if you guys just noticed, I make a lot of sheets. That's a long story. You guys just have to hear this fool make sheets and... Pulling yeah. bricks, <laughs> making sheets. It, it's all in there. Anyway. But uh, that's, that's me, Liquid Gold Steve, and I'll pass it on to... Crispy old Matt. Th three name Matt. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm Steve's brother. And we come up with this idea because we, me, Qaddafi, and Steve all wanted to come together and try to give our opinions, our views on nerd culture nowadays. You know, we do gaming. Like today we're just going to be doing gaming, but we don't just do that. Like you'll come here every week and you'll just have to click on the episode because we talk about some random shit. Like it was either... Gaming today, it was either gaming or it was going to be Shonen Jump entirely. But you know, again, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Yeah. So we're gonna, you know, just keep it light, keep it friendly. Fuck y'all, keep it friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge gamer. Um, I've been gaming all my life. My uncle got me into gaming. Anime. Most recently, I started getting into around 2017, 2018. But like really upgraded my game ever since then, you know. Um, but I was also a nerd before being a nerd was cool nowadays. But anyway, if we're going to roll this along, I need to give it to Gaddafi Crush. So I was trying can... to tell you come close to the microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I was trying to say to you. Is that that? Oh, fuck. Come on, come close to it, man. Come, come make love to the microphone. We're, we're not doing sharing. this shit again. We don't share it. Hey, <laughs> we all share Turn your volume up. <laughs> you don't kiss the mic, but you still make no, no, love no, no, to I it. Get it, I get it. <laughs> we over here sharing the ice cream cone together, boy. Okay. <laughs> I get the chocolate piece at the bottom. <laughs> all, all our slobber going to be at it. So have a glass. <laughs> no, I'm snapping. Right, I'm okay. snapping that bitch off first. <laughs> all right, all right. Good dog. Hey, what's up, guys? All right. Um, I'm kind of the fogey of the group. He's the old person of the group. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm person. only 33, but these two kids are like 22 and 20, what? Five. Five. Just they're, turned. Yeah, they're babies. He's a Nintendo meat man. <laughs> yeah, he is a Nintendo meat man. I'm a big Nintendo meat man. Um, uh, I, I've been gaming again since I was like three, if I can remember right. I was playing uh, 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 Duck Hunt. <laughs> on playing the, on, stick and hoop on the, on, on the NES. I was... Uh, the stick in the hoop at home, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, like I, like Atari was before me. You know that, right? 
Like, no, he, he was. I'm not even the oldest kind of gamer. Um, I've only seen an Atari Jaguar like twice in my life. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I started off playing uh, little stupid games, of course, like a lot of kids do. Their parents or somebody will put them on. But uh, my family was always real big into Street Fighter. And uh, when Street Fighter 2 came out for the Super Nintendo, boy, I, I mean, you ain't never seen a whole family come together for an ass whooping before in your life. <laughs> now, which one are you talking about? You talking about Turbo? You talking about, you <laughs> know, the 15,000 different okay. fucking was, Street Fighters? It was actually OG uh, Street Fighter 2, the one with um, Chun Li kicking the fuck out of Blanco on the cover. So, right. kicking him through a wall. And Ryu in the background looking like, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <That's nice. laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I've been gaming forever and ever and ever and ever. Uh, big into fighting games, love adventure games, RPGs. Uh, and, and then when it comes to like anime, like damn near the same day I played Duck Hunt for the first time was the first time I saw anime, which was uh, Akira. It was the first time I uh, witnessed anything like that. Was it? Uh, A great yeah. fucking oh, shit, mind yeah. fuck in your yeah. in your. Yep. And now you guys see why, like, uh, the newer anime, I'm kind of like this bitch ass shit. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't walk away wanting to blow my brains out on this. <laughs> this isn't enough. Well, not, not all new anime. I, some, I, some of it's like that. I need that, yeah. Crush, you know, I, st- I, I still feel that Akira needs a damn series, but that's just my thoughts. As well, they did. Gold Steve. See, here's the thing. It's like, they apparently, which I don't know this for, like, like by looking it up, apparently they cut, like, half the manga out when yeah. they put the movie out. Like a bunch of characters, all that sort of thing. A bunch of developments, yeah. stuff like that. So um, that, I, mean, I wouldn't be opposed stuff. to it, but at the same time, people wouldn't. People would trash on it before it even came out. Yeah, because it's too much for yeah. for a movie. Like it's it's just too fucking much. I well, mean, they could they could probably explain more if they went into detail because they would have extra time on a series. Yeah, I mean. If anybody really felt like revisiting that as a series, because I mean, sometimes things are just a fucking masterpiece, and I mean. That was perfect. Don't need way. to be touched. That was you perfect the way it was. Yeah, like you do Hakusho show or shit. Even Paprika, I think Paprika is like a, Paprika. Like, like a fucking <laughs> modern masterpiece. Because I mean, like, what was it? We had a uh, um, fucking what was the movie about sleeping with Leonardo DiCaprio? Oh, Inception. 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 And that was like Paprika was like Inception but anime. I haven't seen Inception. And... But fuck Paprika. That that <laughs> shit that made me feel icky. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen Paprika. So Don't you guys... watch it. Don't do that to yourself. I think I'd rather watch Naruto in its entirety before watching Paprika. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen, just a disclaimer. Uh, Matt Matt, oh crispy omatic, has never <laughs> ever gotten he has never gotten past Rockley dropping <clears throat> the weights. So if he talks about Naruto, just shit him out, shit on Fuck him Naruto, in the comics. Man. Like here's my thing. Like I get people like Hold on. I get, no, no 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 no. Let me say this. Let me say this because y'all heard this a thousand times. But I'm telling everybody, listen. If anyone wants to shit on you for not watching Naruto, think about it like this: If you want to watch Naruto, you have to then watch Shippuden. Fuck that thousand episode bullshit. All the flashbacks. How many of the episodes we cut out? There was no flashbacks oh in the fucking God. show. Oh How God. many? Three hundred, I think. Right. Yeah, about, how about, 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 about range. filler? Any type of filler in that show? Now, see filler. But hold on. No, filler, no, 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 no. Fill, I'm talking filler, about filler that don't matter. Filler two hundred and fifty. Right. That's and that's just okay. from Naruto. Right. That's from standard straight edition. How long is Naruto? The first one. The first one, like two, like two fifty. It's yeah, two, something like that. It's like something like two fifty. Mm-hmm. If you take away like uh, season seven through nine. Well, right. season like season seven and eight because nine was just like a big thing with fighting Gara. Um, you can watch the first six episodes, uh, six seasons, and get the whole main plot line. Right, because the rest of it was developed because the the manga hadn't caught up. Right, and they were like, "Well, we'll just throw well, some shit together." That's because like except back the man then, that made putting... hold on, hold on, uh, Chris Matic. Um, <laughs> so me and Gaddafi like one filler episode from Naruto oh and it's the, it's the man that uh puts people on funerals. That motherfucker, no, no, no. He gives he out funerals. funerals. <laughs> <laughs> this dude just like, he'd be like, hey, Part man. of the Akoski. <laughs> like, Not really part of the Akoski. Well. He's like, man, my chili ain't hot enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time for a funeral. <laughs> Yeah, Matthew. He 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 literally like you. You spit on the wrong side of the road. He's gonna be like, "Well, it's time." Like, it's time. Like, he, he celebrates it like it's the best thing. It's like it's like a birthday cake. He gets. Why is everybody crying? It's a funeral. These people are being. I mean, he's burying people a lot. 
is well, legit. No, no, no. I, I, I get, I get that. that. Is, like, I just, I just can't do it. If I watch Naruto, I'm gonna have to watch Shippuden. And maybe I'll shut up and fucking do it one day. Shippuden, but is is fire. Yeah, I'm um, sure, but I have to. Yeah, there's, there's that's that, the same reason I watch fucking One Piece. If you like One Piece, personally, fuck you. I don't mean that. Pers- I kind of mean that. Personally, fuck Luffy. There we go. We'll go on. A, personally, on a from Liquid Gold, I watched Naruto and Shippuden. I'm not watching a thousand episodes. I'm good, but yeah, Liquid Gold skipped around towards the end of it, especially. Um, I sat there and 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 dredged through that shit. Um, <laughs> I, 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 me personally, there's a there's one episode of, of Sorry Ass Naruto that like I, I can't get it out of my mind. It's the episode where um, where Sakura wakes up and she's in a different timeline of Naruto. Yeah, I know that one. And then they just kind of like... They y'all, did, y'all, they did y'all doing too much. Y'all doing too they much. They did that whole fucking episode and then like the next episode we were just back to regular. And it was just like... Are you sure it wasn't Tintin? It was like, so what happened? It happened to Tintin also. But, but Tintin but was when... That was when she was in the, um, um, Infinite Tsukiyomi. With the Infinite Tsukiyomi. But there was just a... Because ran- you were skipping shit. You probably missed this one. There was a mm-hmm. random fucking episode with Sakura. It was like her whole thing and like everybody was different. Like, you know, that sounds nice. like that sound like Naruto Tintin. Was li- it was, I'm trying because to, it okay. happened to Tintin also, but later when the, it, this was like, um, yeah, I remember the one with Oma this Sakura. Was, the one with Sakura was like in the war arc, but it was before the Infinite Tsukiyomi. Like yeah, quite a while, like a month yeah. before. <laughs> no, the last episode I remember watching before I started skipping around was when um, Rock Lee met. I think it was like Mike guys, like Sensei, other than Mike die. Yeah. That's who I remember, but I remember when Sakura did go into that kind of like, because it was it was because of the movie. It was because of the movie. Oh yes, yeah, I never seen them sorry ass movies. Um, but, I watched a couple, but, but I but only watched know, Naruto. With that, I, I kind of want to take Naruto and segue into something else. Mm-hmm. Um, we all like fighters. Uh, the fighting couch potatoes obviously love a good fighting game. And have you guys ever actually played any of the Ninja Storm games? A little Nin- bit, Ninja. Yeah. The Naruto Ninja Storm games. Yeah, I have, I have, I have, I have the, I have the trilogy in my damn oh, game, right. yeah, game system. Trilogy. But uh, you know, those were really cool, unique fighters for their time. Um, unfortunately, it seems that a lot of the anime fighters have adopted what the shipping in games did, what right. the Naruto games did, where it's you know kind of a one button combo. It looks really flashy, looks cool, but you're not really doing it. Mm-hmm. And like, God damn, it looks well, great. Well, that's kind of how the, the Storm, My Hero games look right now. Well, the yeah. Storm, um, they did, like, you had to go up or down. Like, it was still one-button combinations, but you did have different ones from, like, side to side, left, right, up, down. You had to mix in some with your chakra build. Like, I mean, you, you didn't you, really you, have to, though. I yeah, mean, like, but you, you couldn't do some of your really combos. You could spam the dog shit out of somebody. Uh, my buddies and I used to play back in the day. And um, I tell you what, if my, if my boy Busta, if he ever got a hold of Naruto, and you let his ass turn to that fucking, that, that cloak mode, that, 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 that nine tails cloak bullshit, I hey, ain't stopping him. That just, must have been the second one, because the first one. The a button, and Naruto, you can't stop him. He moves too fast, you can't block it, he hits too hard. Can't even, can't even get the, um, the substitution? Because if you can if you can I mean, catch that substitution right, yeah, you can. Get that motherfucker too fast. <laughs> no, you just gotta find the right moment. Like, like, like that should be looking like soccer and the tuning exam was doing a substitution. Anyway, um, we're never going nowhere. Right, <laughs> what do you some, mean when I, fucking? Nah, leave it alone. I no, got no, some, no, no. I got some weird shit to say about that. Naruto game. couldn't even do a but, shadow clone when he but, first started. Then he fucking got all the fucking shadow clones in the world. But those fighting games kind of lend us into um, the Shonen Jump games. The uh, the uh, what's the newest one out right now, Matt? Uh, Jump Force. Jump Force. What's that? What's fucking that one been like, bro? We stopped playing it forever ago, but like when we first, like, because I, I, I picked it up on sale on PlayStation, and like that was before I even had, I think I had watched people on the roster. I had watched um, My Hero Academia. Come on, I think I no, I didn't start Yu Yu Hakusho. I got in, or I wanted to watch it after playing it, and I sure as shit didn't watch Dragon Ball Z before it. Like going back to it now after watching Z, those characters look weird. Everybody looks great in that game. I my opinion is that Jump Force had a great array of people. Yeah, yeah. But it felt like it was so basic and blended down. Like the cities were nice, the the arenas were nice. Yeah, the characters were nice. Especially Cake Island. Well, I t- I yeah, Cake back, Island. Back, Cake Island's the killing island. I see <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so I know them. And then um, uh, 
uh, what's his name? What's his face? Hey, Crispy O'Matic. Um, hold on. No, I have a point. Uh, Ken Shiro. I see Fist of North Star. Fist of North. He's seen bits and pieces. We we need to go back and actually as a, as a group watch that series back because that shit gets ridiculous after a while. That <laughs> game that the people who made Yakuza made. That's the shit. Yeah, that game I, is awesome. I need you to. Try I, that. I I still feel like great um great arenas, great um characters, but. It was so bare bones as a like a, a fighting game. Like jump force. Yeah, yeah, jump force. My my bad, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But because it's pretty, but like, well, that's a, that's something that all games nowadays suffer from. Like, it, and, and we were talking about fighting games. A lot of them are very basic. Like, like you got uh, uh, let's let's walk away from the the anime games shit like that, and let's do. Um, we can talk about, um, we can talk, honestly, sh- uh, hold on, no, 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 don't, I'm not don't talk on my ass, fuck don't, that. Don't say um, Street Fighter. I'm not going to say Street Fighter, fuck that. Um, um, oh what, what's that what's game, it? what's that game that we um, played Damn. that's like kind of bare bones, um, we recently just picked it up, mm. Crush? Oh, EX Lair. Yeah, yeah, EX Lair. That's a, it's a bare bones fighter, when I say bare bones, I mean, there's not very many modes. Right. Alright, you got like arcade mode, fucking versus mode, time attack, and then like a challenge mode. Of sorts, um, but it definitely crispy uh, cr- makes your hands nice and crispy for another game. I mean, and, it and does. for any two D fighter, it's a great game. It has great elements and great fundamentals. But where um, what it is is still a base, a, a basic two D fighter. Yeah, um, very very generic. Is not not what the characters look like. Not even really the way the game plays. Like it plays like Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. And anybody who knows anything about EX Layer, they know that, uh, or, or the EX characters from the um, Arika. And don't you ever when, use... When Arika got with Capcom and they made the Street Fighter EX blah, 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 blahs. Yeah. And these are just characters from that game, essentially without the Street Fighter characters. A couple of new people here and there, and... Or like Blair? I, 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 yeah, I think Blair's new. <laughs> Blair nice, though. Blair nice Blair's with them kicks, like, from Harangue. Mrs. Pete's. <laughs> Except she don't have that nice old um, fucking what is it the three piece helicopter kick and then the damn the axe kick the axe kick that Man, comes out your ass. Well, like, see that's that's different because the reason it's like that is because Tekken's a lot more technical, right? Hurang, if you don't, if nobody knows, Hurang is a um, what does he do? He does he's a taekwondo a taekwondo artist um, from. Tekken. He's not a, he's not an artist. He's a master. He's a master, right? He, well, yeah, he started out as an artist, but he turned into a master. Feats of mess. Right. But um not a good Tekken, and the reason that it's so like broken down like that because you actually have to do the moves. That's that's something like I'm glad a, a game like that hasn't been affected by the you know, I want to include everybody like Nintendoing it up. Well, I you mean, know, it making has, it so everyone can play. I mean it really has though, um, with the the small little changes they made. Mm-hmm. You know, um some extra of the, button presses and stuff like some that. Some of the combos are a little easier to do. Um, and then we have the, uh, what are those shitty moves called? The rage moves or whatever? Rage art. Oh, rage, rage art. The rage Not the drives. Art. The, the rage the, arts. The rage arts. Like, where you just kind of hit two buttons and your character has a fucking force field and then gets a super duper omega move. And so, like, in online, when you're getting your ass beat, you can just pull it out. I'm talking to you, the people that are online to do that trash and dash bullshit. Trash and dashers. You motherfucking, the equalizer is what it is. <laughs> it's an, it, it's a, I mean, the first Stop. Thing, on. Stop doing that rage art and be a man. Just be a man about it. I remember when it came out for uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and they had like a, like a X Factor or some stupid shit it was. Mm-hmm. That is terrible. That is but it's terrible. Like, is it, it, just, it just like made your character faster, stronger like towards the end of their life or whatever. Yeah. It was like... Almost like the Fatal Blows or X-Rays in Mortal Kombat. Right, right. Well, and, Mortal Kombat had momentum and, um, and, in the beginning. And well, like with well, that, with, with, yeah. with that, like you'd get your life back and shit too with the little X-Factor thing they had in Marvel vs. Capcom. Mm-hmm. And it just kind of get on your fucking nerves. Was it a lot you, of you life be, or were just until... It depends on how, how good you are. Because I mean, you get some life back and you're, if, as long as you're trouncing ass, you're fine with that little meter going. But, I mean, as soon as that meter drops, your speed goes back to normal and blah, 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 blah. But, I mean, it's a fucking equalizer. But if you, you can, can get take, that... Like, somebody like um, like Jean Grey, like Phoenix or whatever, you could fucking wipe out somebody's entire team with Jean Grey if she gets to use her X-Factor. Yeah, she's a bad bitch. No, she's not. She's oh, not. Oh, God. Oh, God. Do we have to talk about that? What, Jean Grey? About, yeah. About, In the comics, uh, Jean Grey a bad bitch. Bro, Morph is better than fucking Jean Grey. Alright, like, <laughs> fuck Jean Grey. Oh my god, like... But would she beat Squirrel Girl? I don't know. No. 
The answer was no. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody's beating Squirrel Girl. Because, I mean, you know. If you know, you fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Moving on from that, um, we all like fighters. Yeah, big fan. Any RPG fans in the house? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. What I was, uh, what, what, what was, uh, what was, what was, what, what was it? The Crispinator right now? What the fuck are we calling you? The Crispiomatic. Oh. <laughs> Crispomatic. 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 <laughs> Ten minutes ago, he was somebody else. Um, <laughs> hey. uh, Crispomatic, what was your, uh, what would you consider to be your first, you know, real experience getting through an RPG? Oh, fucking easy. Fallout 3. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, um, that was actually one of those games, you know, back in the day where, you wouldn't get games except for on your birthday and on Christmas. Yep. Right? What you got was what you played. You now played you're a grown it. ass man. You, you can buy it anytime. You buy what the fuck you want. One of the first <laughs> games that I did buy, because um, Fallout 3 came out in 2008. Mm-hmm. And I borrowed it from, or I went over to a friend's house to play it, and I kind of liked it. And I had a um, 360 at the time because I had gotten Halo 3 because I was one of those kids. Right. Right. <laughs> but um, well, I went and took my own money. And I bought Fallout 3. And I mean, I played the hell out of that game. Like, 3, New Vegas, 4. But 3 was, man, the ins and outs of that fucking game right there. I can tell you. I can talk for hours with you all about that. You know, I've never played Fallout before. Um, Like, I've never played it. You might eventually. I think it's ugly. (laughs) Like, just the... The character models, I just think it's fucking ugly. But um, I've played. seen I've seen a good bit of gameplay, and something that does attract me to it is like that um, that like percentages you have to shoot somebody or whatever. Mm-hmm. Bats. Like bats. Like, bats. like what, is, <laughs> what is that exactly about? So like, okay, you have your you're in a post apocalyptic future, past, whatever, because it's the fifties, but it's not. Yeah. Um, they have something called Pit Boy, mm-hmm. right? And your pit boy has an automatic targeting. It's that big ass watch you wear. Yeah, yeah. it has. A, it's your um. It, it's, it's your everything. It's your map. It's your fucking radio. Because if you play Fallout and you don't listen to the fucking radio, you are not playing Fallout. It's which your, it's which 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 uh which radio? You All play? right, listen. Hear me out, right? And I'm probably going to piss some people off with this. Mister New Vegas, as well as he might be, is not the best radio host in Fallout. Okay. And it, who's the best radio host? <laughs> Three dog. Three dog. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you. You you gonna find out who he is, and you're gonna laugh right along with me. <laughs> you're gonna learn today. <laughs> you goddamn right. But no, like it's Fallout's one of those. It can be either very easy for you or very hard. Well, that's so any, like, that's really any RPG. Well, that's well, well, no, 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 no. Well, if you go like if you're not lo- leveled up enough to go to a higher place, then sometimes you get either done up or you it's get. It's one of those. It's one of those like like I don't want to call it baby's first RPG because it's not. No, no. Um, that's something like Pokemon or no, some shit like. But that's like something more what's like, cool, uh, like uh, fucking Mystic Quest, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, that I don't know. Totally Pokemon big, was that's literally baby's first. But RPG. like what's, what's Pokemon cool about was, that series is you um the way you do your. You have perks that you get and everything after you level up, but you also have um, your your special stats, right? right? Your strength, your perception is special, right? So right. Strength, perception, i.e. endurance, um, intelligence, endurance, charisma, the other letter, and luck. Like, is like that, agi- <laughs> agility so, and luck. So wait, is, is is that like one of those games like um like you level up by using your shit? No, like, you no. you level up by killing enemies, obviously right. doing doing missions, you're doing quests, you know, getting experience okay. points. And like, here's the thing about it is like you don't have to like shit. If you play Fallout New Vegas mm-hmm. and you take your intelligence and you turn the knob all the way the fuck down to one, right? Mm-hmm. You can go through the game without killing anybody. They just feel bad for your retarded ass. Yes. No shit. So yes. Like your liquid gold feet. Serious. Like, fuck I'll, you, I'll, you I'll, feet. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you. I'll give you three examples of how being dumb will help you in the wasteland. Hold on. Hold on. There is crispy omatic is lying. No, he no, no, needs. No, 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 no. He needs charisma at the same time. Well, yeah, you need charisma. Walk, talk your fucking way out of a paper bag, but you don't know what the fucking paper bag is. <laughs> but, um, like three instances. Um, there's a military camp that you end up in later on in the story in New Vegas. And if you go into the medical tent, people are in there injured. 
and you can walk up to them and you can try to help them. Mind you, if you upgrade your medical expertise, you can heal them. Mm. Right? Through, like, um, medicinal, whatever you can do. Like, you get options and it brings up a menu and all that shit. But if you're a fucking moron, there's one guy who, you know, you click on him and it's like, this man suffers from lesions all over his body. It's slowly draining all the blood out of him. And one of the fucking options, it's like, it's literally do nothing and then the medical fucking um, option, which is blanked out because I didn't fucking do it. And the words literally say, chop, chop. Chop hmm. in all caps. If you choose that and succeed now, because you can fail, <laughs> luck matters in this shit. You can save people's like like you save the dude's life. Like it literally goes after random chopping, you were successfully able to remove all the lesions from this patient's body. He'll live a full, healthy life. That dude thinks you're Jesus, right? <laughs> and like, there's not a lot of RPGs that I know of, at least. Like I think Mass Effect's like that, right? Yeah. Cause like you can you can upgrade your talking and everything to everybody and try to keep things peaceful. You can try. You can yeah, but like fuck that. And at the same time, <laughs> you can slap the fire out of news reporter. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not explaining all of the level up you can do. Of course not. Like, well, yeah, you, 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 you can. You got, you you got, got three different. Cho- you got three different. Well, you start out with your special, then you can add on to it, and well, the perks, then I was saying that yeah. But you never told explain the oh, perks. Yeah, the perks are like so like. Give him it's a, few... a lot. The way the way that Fallout first started, and I don't, I'm not trying to draw on about just this, but like it's a really good example for me. It's like it started as turn based, right? Yeah, yeah. You had a certain amount of action points, and you could do your thing yeah, when it was top down, right? Right. And they kind of pulled that into the third one because like you could be point blank on somebody, but if your fucking perception's low and your weapon isn't accurate, you can be point blank on somebody and brick, shoot, shoot right brick, brick, seriously. <laughs> like, there, but the, um, the perks are really cool because here's where the game gets wacky. Like, shit, let me give you some. There is, there's Animal Friend, which, you know, every animal that comes up to you, you can tame. Right. Or if you're getting attacked out and about, the animals will come and maul your fucking enemies. Oh, no shit. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I love that perk. Um, there's, one, that there's one. There's one called. Princess perk. There's one called Lady Killer, which you have better chance of um, killing women. No. Oh. Well, yeah, you do both more damage to them, but you oh. also have a better chance of convincing them in conversation. Oh. Right. And then you have a wild wasteland where you can find a fucking ray gun out in the wasteland. Yeah, seriously. Um, the, my favorite. Doing? My favorite is Mysterious Stranger. So, remember how uh, we or were talking Lady about... Or Lady No, 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 no. Mysterious, Mysterious stranger. stranger. Remember how we were talking about bats earlier? Yeah. So, say you go into bats, right? Mm-hmm. And you highlight someone's head or their torso or whatever, because they have that percentage that you can hit them at, right? Mm-hmm. It's like 92, the farther away they get. It's like visual whatever. aim trajectory. Right, you get their shit, right? Right. If you miss, because this is all turn-based at that point. Right. If you miss all of them, you have a chance... For a mysterious stranger, a dude in a fedora and a trench coat holding a revolver like dirty fucking Harry, oh. and he'll blow motherfuckers away. Oh, One wow. shot, straight up. Oh, like, it plays some music, here he come, bash, bash. <laughs> and like, and like sorry, you, come, yes. you come out of bats, dude's gone. Huh. Straight he's up. Like, he's not out and about, you can't find him. He's this shit's just, awesome, man. Dude's got a jetpack. You just didn't know. <laughs> he he, he uses a transmission. <laughs> but I, I, I do want to come back to Fallout uh, in a little bit, uh, Mister Steve. Same with you, bro. What was your 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 first big RPG, man? Well, I'm one that you finished, maybe. Uh, there's a lot. Like, well, to me, RPGs was never my favorite. Mm-hmm. I got to be honest with you, but I've learned to love them. Like in a hard hitting your fucking head on a damn brick wall and pushing through it, oh, loving. Man. Mm-hmm. But um, my very first one was Pokemon, like, and that's that's like the basic first RPG to me. I feel like that's like the basic first RPG to kind of get your because you're not leveling up yourself. You're leveling up creatures that you capture with right. Pokeballs, Great Balls, Master Balls, and rip to anybody who used a Master Ball on a damn bat. <laughs> Hey, fuck you. Hey, no, 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 no. No, no you remember. I, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm guilty I of it. Hold on. I went hold to the, I went hey, to the crispy store. Hey, crispy Crispy. Hey, ch- I cri- played Pokemon too. Hey, fuck you. I, if I was ever picking a Pokemon, my pick, uh, my Pokemon was... Um, Pikachu don't like Pikachu. <laughs> it was it was Squirtle. And because I like Bulbasaur. Uh, but my like well, one... The, the, my wild my wild Pokemon would be um, Abra. That was your first wild one? 
Well, that would be my pick if I ever always um, the first or always the one I'll get to have in my Pokedex well, is you were, Abra. You were um, because Abra's I, a psychic, right? Because I love every yeah. time you try to yeah, capture him. He, wa- he wants to. No, it's not. Or Abra was not by any stretch of the imagination. Abra, now, Kadabra, now Kadabra, or, or Kadabra, and my Alakazam, guess. Kazam on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, I never got to have a Kazam because I was I was a nerdy kid. Well, I was a um, introvert as a child, so I never had friends that had other Pokemon to trade with. So. I always had Kadabra. Thinking he had the one spoon, like only one spoon's where it's at. Now, nah, brother, two spoons. When you got two spoons in the hands, that's when you nasty. No. <laughs> um, It'll be fun when we do our Pokemon shit. But when, um, sure. but when I really started liking, um, when I really started liking uh, RPGs was when I played Dark Souls, and that was because uh, I I tried Dark Souls when I was younger, and I thought it was shit because I don't like. I don't like video games that kind of don't give you a linear path unless they kind of show, show it to you. you. Over and I li- over. I like, and ladies over. and gentlemen, I like a I like a video game that kind of gives you a path, but you can branch off of that path. Like so it's kind of like a like tree. Handheld. Not as much as I want to, but like if I know there's a path yeah. there, I can branch off somewhere else and figure something else out. He just out. wants somebody to say, hey, go left, and he'll go, go right. No. He just wants the option to... Uh, to, to no. go opposite, <laughs> and if and if um, I'm I'm telling terrible. I'm telling anybody in this this chat these comments <laughs> anybody that listens to this shit if you ain't if crispy old Mac doesn't shut the fuck up I'm slapping in the face I'm gonna slap shit out you um, you're gonna hear me whack <laughs> if you don't pick deprived you're a bitch. Be no, a man. You ain't gotta be naked every time. You Hell yeah, you do. Oh, Hell yeah, you do. No, 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 Max no, no, no. out strength and fucking cool. you and but use like, a giant club of Cheeto, <laughs> the hot Cheeto. <laughs> oh, um, <he's> naked. <laughs> but recently, um, I've been playing this. It's uh, called Mutant Year, um, Year Zero, and it's um, it's the Game of the Year edition. So it's called Road of Two Eden, and it's a top down. It's a turn based RPG, mm-hmm. almost like uh, XCOM. I don't know. I've never played XCOM, so uh, Qaddafi could probably um, interject with this, but I would like to just explain that you're playing mutants, Mm -hmm. and you have one's a duck named Ducks. That's not so fun. One's Mm -hmm. named, one's a pig or a boar named Borman. Ah. What a lame name. Then you got a girl with a little horn that can um, be a frog. Uh, She has mutations where she can kind of, she's like the stealth active kind of moving type in your group mm-hmm. ducks is more the sniper borman's kind of like the truck the train or the the tank he'll take the damage and he has a mutation where it's called charge dash where he can run through walls mm-hmm. and he can run through people and immobilize them for two moves it's a very it's very it's high on percentages because you have to have a line of sight of people um they can tag it can really get difficult it can really fuck you up, um, but I th- I think it's actually a really great game. If um, I recommend it to people out there on the chat, and what's it if called again? Mutant Year Zero. Mutant Year Zero sounds pretty. I cool. know. I like. I really want to get into the. Um, they Fair. have they have uh, Marvel Midnight Suns coming out, right? I want to get into stuff like that, like XCOM, like what you were just saying. I just I don't know if I can do it because like I just for the first time I um I tried a turn based RPG. Like besides like the old ones, but I've um, I've completed uh, Yakuza Seven because they went away from the beat 'em up style and they made it into a turn base, which, but it, is, which is really but fun. that's that's um, and yes, it's turn based as Yakuza Seven, but you're kind of like the um, that game Mutant is made for top down like turn based RPG. Right. The Yakuza kind of moved into that, so you kind of have a different. Say, you, when you say turn based RPG. And when you're talking about like top down stuff, I yeah. think you're trying to call it a uh, uh, tactics. Yeah, RPG. tactics RPG. Right. My it's bad. Like, there's, yeah, there's, strategy. There's, there's a strategy. Like, uh, strategic tra- tactics yeah. RPG, like uh, maybe like playing a tabletop game. Like, Pretty, like, it like, actually, like, it actually was a tabletop game, and then they had enough money to actually turn it into a game. I played, played a tabletop version. I don't know if I played a video game. Version. I'd, I'd be, bo- I'd be ducks if I had to be. Like you can, um, you can explore the waste because um, it's a wasteland. It's it's kind of, it's not like um, Fallout. It's more um, the story. I'm not going to like to. I'm not going to bring up the story or anything because the story is it's not giant. It's it's very it's it's a probably 
takes about 10 hours to complete mm-hmm. real time. 24 if you want to get everything. Yeah. Um, but um, you're you're playing mutants, and there's there's regular people, and, and there's mutants in the world. There's ghouls. There's uh, tanks. There's um, there's wild animals. They're called zone dogs. There's no zone cats. There's no panthers or anything. Oh, so like, um, you can get a sni- you, um, you can get sniper rifles. You can get hey, there's the boomstick. The and boomstick. It even says Chronicle um, Ash because uh, it actually it has a little description of like um, when you first meet the people. They have their own like they um, ducks has a crossbow and a um, they call them a stinger. It's a six shooter. Um, and Borman has a scatter gun. Has two, um, a little side by side double shotgun, uh, double barrel shotgun, and the stinger. Well, you can collect different kind of like there's the state switcher, which is, uh, you know how, um, in Fallout they had the rotary fucking when you had to reload every one time the gun. I can't. Oh, the, the uh, energy the la- gun, the laser musket. That's uh, that's. Oh, oh, oh seriously, yeah, musket. you'd be fucking people up with that. You could that- um, crank it up like eight shots, and there is. <laughs> <laughs> in, in the um, in the weapons kind of thing, there is uh, damage, critical, a critical percentage, um, how much ammo you have, and the range you can. Because like if you're out of range, you can't shoot those people. Right. You can be stealthy, which you have like um, apparel, like apparel that gives you armor, extra life. There's apparel that gives you immunity to criticals. There's immunity to um, Charge hits. Um, that's with the armor. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some helmets where you can get criti- um, better critical hits when you're higher ground than the person. Mm-hmm. Like you're pointing down. See, that's one of those things that I, I just love about like uh, tactics RPGs is they, 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 there's just so many rules and different ways you can get around shit. Like, you know, like if you're in the trees or like if you're on a certain type of land, maybe you have more power here or there or just whatever. I just, I just love that type of shit because there's just too many different ways to complete a mission. You know, like, there's no one single way I can get it through every time this way. I try that shit twice in a row. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. With this game, I've, like, every time I get, in, like, to a set space before I start the whole battle, I'll, I'll save that shit. Oh, yeah. And then I'll, then I'll just hit it, and I'll be like, did I win? I so, hate, like, hate when my folks die. <laughs> so, like, is it, um, is it, like, not, not, I don't want to say free roam, but you're running out and about in between battles, right? Yes, um, like, when the battle ends, you can actually do this, too. If they're far, uh, like, the enemies, um, they usually are in giant groups. Mm-hmm. Um, and th- now, where I'm at right now, there's more of them, and there's some tanks, too, that, like, have, like, 30 hit points. And most of my weapons, regular damage is, like, 9 and then, like the critical is like twelve. Oh, so you gotta stack up on them. Yeah, like, you. Four, um, but people. but if um, you can get like people straggling out of the range because they have ranges where, also my bad, you can sneak around them, right. and you have a flashlight which usually points out like scrap. Scrap is your money, mm-hmm. and you can find hidden gems in the world of the wasteland mm-hmm. where you can trade it into a bartender that can give you. Um, he can give you a. Um, a percentage off the shop that you buy like um, equipment from. Right. There's like a um, loyalty almost. Pretty much like twenty okay. percent off. Um, there's uh, you can um, always have more throwables. Like you get three spots, but two of them are locked. You gotta mm-hmm. lock it from him. Right. Um, there's stuff where you can. Um, there's robotic um, enemies where you get a percentage of extra damage you can get on robotic enemies or even regular humans but you right. gotta you gotta build through that tree um, more um just depending on how you level the character up or no that's that the- that's actually just his thing like he gives you um your character has certain things like uh borman's more of like i was telling uh, uh crispy omatic crisp omatic um <laughs> be borman is more of the tank he has a he has there's three mutations a passive a um aggressive and a one use in every ma- um, battle. Mm-hmm. Um, the passive always works, so you're just going to have a passive mutation. The um, the one he has is either running gun or he has an AP shot where he can shoot twice, but it cuts his um, accuracy half. Right, that's an right. active. That's an active one. Like you have to you, you have you have to activate it. Right. 
the passive is just his. It, pa- it, it happens because yeah. he's, well, that's that's what's really fun about RPGs is you can take. But you can't have both of them. You can't have right. running gun and damn. Oh, um, you can overpowered. You can take your weaknesses and turn them into your strong suit. Oh yeah, you know, which is like it's kind of like what I've been playing thieves lately, and in, in like uh, like games that we kind of play together on. Yeah, but like, I, I'm really soft. But like at the same time, my ability to be a ninja is like the shit. I do so, want to. I do want to ask you, Crush. Um, because I'm talking about Mutant Year Zero, we're talking about RPGs. Mm-hmm. Um, how you were explaining XCOM a few days ago, you sounded like it kind of sounded like that's why I kind of got into it. And it's not it, it's not just because of that. I think Mutant is actually a pretty damn good game. Right. I wish they would give you a little more context and a little more few gun selections. But and you can upgrade the guns, you get to use weapon parts. I mean, like yeah. you're still not through the game though yet, are you? I've beaten the game before, so I know the um, oh, thing. So, so you're back, you know. Mm-hmm how it's going to play out for you. But I still want to play it over again because I want to play... Because you get four characters. Right. You get two off rip. You find Salima. What did you want to ask me? Oh, sorry. sorry. I, I was sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, last thing. The fourth character is a te- uh, telepath. <laughs> fourth character is a telepath. And his okay. passive is he can... um He has 35% chance of bullets just ricocheting. Oh, Jean Grey ass. We just talked about... Continue. No, 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 no. Continue. Continue it on. Sorry, ass. I would like to know... Um, I would like you to explain to the audience what XCOM is, if anybody doesn't know it, and try to explain to me. Well, well I, like, don't, I don't want to hear you talk about XCOM because we we done went over all our favorite RPGs. What is what is oh, the sorry. first one that comes to mind? You know, like any of them. It don't matter. All right. Well, um, I because like, what, what are you asking exactly? Like, are you asking like my, what my favorite is, or are you asking like what my first was? What, what was the first one you beat? First one I ever beat. All right, I'm gonna. The first one I actually ever beat was Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Red on my blue Game Boy Pocket. Um, <laughs> I love the Game Boy Pocket. That bitch stayed in my pocket. Um, <laughs> play football, that bitch in your pocket, pocket and wind break. <laughs> but, um, pocket hand. Pocket but besides pocket that, stand. actually, the first RPG that I, I beat um, that I would say would be like a, a traditional, probably even JRPG, uh-huh. was Chrono Trigger. Right. That one was um, hot. Damn, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> I had a that needs to go on the list. Yeah, well, one of my great buddies, um, uh, brother Dave, he uh, had it on a Super Nintendo, and I had something on my PlayStation that he wanted, so he made a trade. I gave him my PlayStation, he gave me the Super Nintendo for for like a month. And um, did he, you ever get it back? Yeah, absolutely, okay, yeah, absolutely. He got Chrono Trigger back in the Super Nintendo, and I, yeah, everything's cool. Um, I'd kill Dave. Anyway, <laughs> but you played for a whole month on that Super Nintendo. You didn't take no days off. It might have even been a week. I don't remember how long it was, but I know he let me play. And um, actually, it took me fucking forever to get like to the point where I understood how the game worked. Because even though I say it's a traditional style RPG, it's, it's still wildly different than a regular turn based RPG. Uh, when you have like uh, uh, essentially you have Chrono, you 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 start the game off as Chrono. You're the young boy. Who can't fucking talk, of course, and you get up and you go talk to your mom, and she's all like, "Hey, you didn't talk to your mom." Yeah, you can talk. Well, your mom <laughs> talked to you. <laughs> so I gotta, so I gotta ask, and crush, all, and she's all like, "Fucking, uh, I'll go to the fair, go to the carnival, whatever, whatever, whatever." And uh, of course, you get to the fair and the carnival, and um, you start kind of seeing how the world works. But like, there's still like no combat. You, it takes you like, a, like if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Like if you don't have a goal in mind, it takes like an hour before you get your first piece of combat. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it's really like 15 minutes, but if you spend time at that carnival, the Millennium Fair is what they're calling it. If you're spending time there, then you're going to spend about an hour before the game forces you to get the fuck out and go to the woods. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where things get kind of fun at, because that's where the turn-based starts in. Um, it's one of those ones that's like time turn-based, where um, the characters, the enemies are constantly moving on the screen. And you're kind of just like waiting for your time to attack them, um, like, so, uh, so like, like, like like Final Fantasy VII almost. Yeah, how, like, how like yeah. Like, um, again, this is a, a square square game. Right. This is a square soft or just square. I think it's just square. I think it's before they absorb soft. But um, what year was it? Oof. Never mind. Never oof. mind. Another episode. Ninety six, I think. Oh, then that's um, after Square Soft. Is it after Square Soft? Well, because Mana Cause, is ninety three. Because Soft was still man. Ah, shit, you're right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. That was after Soft. Um, but this is kind of like where they, you can still play some of Square Enix's shit, 
and still see where a lot of their games came from when you go back and play their older games. And, like, not just Final Fantasy, not just Secret of Mana, but, like, go touch something that says Square or Soft or Enix on it. Just those three uh, from, from the Nintendo to Super Nintendo ages. Right. And it's like, wow, they, they really found a way to, you know, keep some of this stuff. And, I mean, even right now, watching you play Final Fantasy VII reminds me so much of The Bouncer. Of, like, if you took The Bouncer and, and Chrono Trigger and put them together. Right. That's fucking awesome. Well, it's different with um, the remake because this one... It's kind of still timed, because if you want to do special abilities and whatnot, you right. have to. But you could always be hacking and slashing, you right. know, as the characters. Um, but I kind of want to um, change up gears real quick. And, you know, we, we went over fighting games, went over RPGs. Let's, let's go to a little Uncharted Realm real quick. Let's do it. Um, what is y'all's opinion <laughs> on horror games? Horror games. Let do y'all have, do let y'all have kick, any? Let me kick that one off. Come on, let me, let's let me go. Kick that because I'll, I'll sit here right. and talk a while so, about this shit. So, so that way, th- let me let me start just like this. All right. So you motherfuckers know I'm old at this point, technically for a video gamer. Yeah. With, you know, with responsibility. Yeah. Oh, I have a twelve year old bag of bones, so motherfucker. But anyway, um, my first horror game was legit Resident Evil. First um, one. the first one okay. on PlayStation. I remember going to my buddy's house and then being like, "Oh, it looks so realistic. Look at the game." And you know those shitty, ugly graphics. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then my dude, you know, and if anybody knows what I'm about to say, you know, we just start off playing Resident Evil, and you know all the crazy shit goes on. Then you decide to walk into the building and take a right and go up those fucking stairs, and then you'll take a left and then turn right down that corner next to the next hallway, and there's that fucking zombie guy eating the shit out of that other guy. And back then, when they showed that shit in the cutscene, because it goes like to a whole cutscene, and you see the zombie's face, bro, I jumped out of my panties. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I was, like, I was scared. I jumped right out of my whitey tighties. I mean, it was ridiculous. <laughs> but um, besides that, there are actually two other games I still won't fucking touch to this day ever again. Um, Clock Tower for PlayStation 1 and any version of fucking Fatal Frame. Has anybody ever heard of Fatal Frame? Yes. yes. Fatal Frame. I want to play it. Baby girl with the camera stopping ghosts. Like Luigi's Mansion, but no vacuum cleaner. You got a camera. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fucking camera. And these aren't just like regular ghosts. These are Japanese horror ghosts. And God knows those things are fucking horrifying. Um, but as far as horror games, I don't play them too often. I like to keep my panties on. Right. Um, right. <laughs> Steve, would you... Uh, or actually, actually... Crispy O'Matic. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all Hold on. Hold on. Crispy O'Matic. Let me get mine because Crispy O'Matic is like the horror game. Like he lo- he he loves his shit his pants every day, even though he doesn't play he just, um, horror games all the time. Just get good. Continu- continuing on. You getting good at those fucking things. Nah, those shit do not like you. Continuing on. <laughs> Crispy, uh, Crispy got me in this game because I was never a horror game fan. I, he um, showed me Dead Space. Oh, and fuck. it was Dead Space 2 because he didn't want to show me Dead Space 1. He thought Dead Space 2 was scarier. And it wasn't scary because you have guns. I got to say, I'm more of a Resident Evil because I, I played the remake, the second one. And I think that's a great fucking game. I, I, multi- I, I played it multiple times. And I tried to even S tier it sometimes. Because I would like the, um, but I like Leon Kennedy's fucking part of it. I didn't like Claire as much because I feel like Claire got too many like good weapons. She got the she got the grenade launcher. She got the damn. Oh yeah, they loaded her up. She got the grenade launcher with the acid bolts. Yeah, I was about to say and and, and fire. And she got um she got the damn um and I could stop Mister X. You know what fucking Leon got pistol. A pit- no, he got the <laughs> Matilda. The Matilda, the, the nine millimeter Matilda. And the, the shotgun, and his little. Um, yeah, but he but he got a desert eagle at the end. Which shotgun did he? Was it the Ithaca? It he was carries? it was a seventy. The M eight seventy. That's right. The Ithaca's in part four. But that's you can but you can damn. I liked how you could build a top um, build on it. I know I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, because I never played the original uh, Resident Evil two. I don't know if you can do this, but I, I liked how you can get gun parts and you built onto your gun. Like the Matilda was badass at the end. Yeah. She, like you got a twenty four. Like I think it was a sixteen clip. And then you got the damn stability arm and I everything. Know when they started doing like little miniature upgrades like that, was it part? Well, no shit, because like that was the first time I ever saw it. Was like fucking um, uh, Leon get that Matilda with the with the long stock on it. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, you had to put like <laughs> having to put your scope on the damn sniper rifle, taking up inventory space. Yep. Um, but the like, shotgun was the worst. You were you were talking about you were talking about Dead Space earlier. 
Sorry. Right. Yes, Dead so, Space 2. The I'm, first... Hold on. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Hold on. The first moment waking up in Dead Space 2, a guy saying, hey, you got to get the fuck out of here. Shit's going down. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, and, and, and something and just pokes into his <laughs> eye. Was we'll he we'll a real motherfucker like me just cut the game off? You know, I did what he said. Get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no problem, bro. I got you. So, so, no, like... um. What Steve was saying, he um he started with two. Here's the thing with Dead Space, right? Well, okay, let me let me let me dial it back a little bit. Um, what was your first? It was, game? Yeah, it was Dead Space. What's it was Dead Space two. I played two before I played one. Oh shit! But here's the thing about um what I think because like I I play a lot of horror games. I like Alien Isolation, The Evil Within, fucking Resident Evil, Outlast, Outlast, fuck Outlast. All right, give me a fucking gun. All right, no, don't give me a camera. Expect me to run away That's and get trapped true. in the corner. Um, but That's a true horror movie, though, or a well, true no, horror no, game. No, though. No, hear, hear me out. So, um, while I enjoy doing stuff like that, um, you're like, mind you, there are like Alien Isolation. I talk shit about it. You're not stopping that fucking alien, man. Nah, not not even a little bit. Like not like Colonial Marines or the fucking older Alien games. You can run away. But it adapts. Yeah. That, and it will fuck you up. That but game like, itself no, 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 no. looks so damn scary. Oh, hold on. Um, let me dial it back a little bit because you're always talking about, you know, with the Dead Spaces and Resident Evils like that. I just believe a game like Dead Space did it better, you know? I, did, I never said that my first game was uh, Resident Evil. I said it was Dead Space 2. But, but, you, but I, you, don't believe, you, you, I don't believe um, Red, uh, Resident Evil is the end all be all of horror games because right. there's a lot of horror games out let, there. Let me, let me finish Fear. though. Fuck. Fear. Fuck fear. Let me Fuck fear, finish, yeah. y'all. <laughs> so, y'all were, uh, let me get to my point. Because um, you were talking about Resident Evil 2, which I enjoy Resident Evil 2. I really do. But something about, like, I'm not sitting here trying to suck Dead Space's dick. I just think it's one of the games that actually did it the best in balance. Like, fuck Dead Space 3. But um, the first game, you know, you're out in, you're out in space. You're, you're out in fucking, obviously. Um, you're, you're, you're coming you're, to... You're in dead space. Yeah, you're in dead space. <laughs> so, um, you're trying to, Sitting on Earth You're trying shit. to um, <laughs> save your girlfriend on um, a, the, the Ishimura, a ship she's right, stationed on. Right, you lose right, contact right. with her, blah, blah, blah. You find out there's an alien infection going on. That game does not throw you into it. Like, it seems like it does, but it does not. It will not attack you until you have a weapon in your hand. Right. Dead Space 2, however, like Crush was saying earlier, you know, or Steve was saying earlier about how, like, the game starts, you're talking to a fucking shrink because you're crazy, and then you wake up and the dude's like, listen, you got to get the fuck out of here. You're in terrible danger. And then the dude just dies. Get the like fuck out of Dodge. The, the, the thing that turns those people into the monsters that you fight in Dead Space kills a motherfucker. And it turns them into one of them in your face, right? Very intense, very up in your face about it. And they give you um, they give you a kinesis pack where you can pick up um, like spikes and shit and shoot them into the fucking um, monsters and put them, you know, stick them to the wall. And the whole thing is about dismemberment, right? Right. And you can <laughs> you can punch them away from you. You can knock them to the ground and come up and stomp the shit out of them. Like nothing. Like, I get Resident Evil 4 has that mechanic, and I think Res 5 does too. I don't know about Res 6, I didn't play it. Um, where, you know, you can walk up to something after it's been staggered, and you can fucking roundhouse kick the fucking thing. Right? You didn't get to, like, you would do that, but they get back up. Isaac motherfucking Clark, the engineer, would stomp a motherfucker out like CJ from Grove Street until yeah. the motherfucker's dead. He flattened him out all like, the way. Like, seriously. Like, uh, like, don't be a menace where they flatten my man out on the street. But, like, it's, <laughs> like Oh my baby! This ain't my baby. <laughs> I, like, I like I like horror games because like you you like The Last of Us, right? You play Uncharted, and then you play The Last of Us. You're not fucking Superman anymore, you know? Because like when you when you play Uncharted, you're climbing over shit, you're jumping down, God, fucking, I fucking hate rocking, Uncharted, right? Uh, rocking people. What and you shit. mean? I fucking hate but Uncharted. That was my that was my one. Like, I can't I'm, agree I'm, with you. Yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to jump in right quick. Fucking the first Uncharted is the only one I've ever played. All right, Nathan Drake and his bullshit. So the first problem I was even having with the game 
was how come every time I fucking climb over a great wall and open up a big puzzle that like in a fucking door nobody's opened up for the last 300 million years and there's 30 fucking guys in there with machine guns. You ever play Tomb Raider? How the fuck in Tomb Raider you would open up a fucking tomb and there'd be mummies or a T-Rex or some shit back there. But I mean, <laughs> fuck, bruh. It makes more sense than, oh, no one has opened up this gate in 5 million years. Oh, there's 5 million guys back there at machine guns. They found another way in. They they found found, found the easier way in. They always find the easier way in. When I was at the fucking front door. Hey, they blew the side door in. Like, you know it takes Nathan Drake, like, like, gameplay wise, it takes you maybe 5 minutes, but it's taking Drake 30 minutes to climb around the fucking building, swing across the vines. Right. You know, fucking forward, forward, you know, down X square. And fucking next thing you know, he's in there, and he's like, oh, you know, what a nice facility. And well, there's a million people there fucking just letting loose at you. Well, Besides, Crush, well, that, that, that's, uh, hold that's, on, hold on, Crush and Crispy. I gotta disagree with you, Crush. Um, I feel like Uncharted, yes, is not Tomb Raider. No, no, no. It's not I Tomb feel Raider. like more It doesn't of, need to be Tomb Raider either. To me, I feel like after watching, if anybody's an Indiana Jones fan, you watch Indiana Jones... Fucking Uncharted, is, Uncharted right. is kind of like that. Um, Nathan, it, this this game is more for fun than seriousness. It belongs honestly. to the museum. Tomb Raider was was for fun and exploration. Um, I mean, obviously in the older games, she couldn't box nobody. I mean, Nathan Drake be like, go ahead and get close to him if you wanna. There was a time or two I went through those five million guys with no gun. And I was yeah. like, I ain't never got no ammo anyway. Well, see, Fuck it. That's, that's, that was my point. <laughs> Beat earlier. everybody to like, death. Like that's why I dig the fuck out of horror games. Like you, like I was saying, you you take your Uncharted's and then you switch over to your Last of Us, right? You know, like you if you, you, you no play them back, you play them back to back. You can see the similarities, but you're not fucking Superman no more, right? Like I mean, Joel be rocking I mean, people. Joel, real. Joel's half Superman, but like he's a half a crypt. If you're if you're caught fuck slipping, Joel. you're done for. Fuck you. Fuck Joel. Fuck you. Fuck Ellie. How about that? Okay. Fuck I, Ellie too. Fuck Abby. <laughs> I really didn't like, I really was not a fan of the whole Last of Us fucking franchise because Joel was a bad guy the whole fucking time. And that's Liquid Gold Steve saying so. There was, there was like a lot that we could even put more potentially discuss um, on this if, if we felt like it. But I, I, you know, there's just so much to the, to the gaming and the anime and the, just the nerd culture that we could really get into, you know, um. What do you think this podcast is for? I just really hope that everybody got a good example of what the couch potatoes are here for and how we're going to handle this from here on out for you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been time. The fighting couch <laughs> potatoes are leaving on their dusty trail. Crispy O'Matic. <whistles> Cadolfi Crush. Uh, don't, I'll forget, see- don't forget to like, share, subscribe, fucking face, twit, Instagram, fitogram, whatever fucking is you kids are using these. Frog sex. I don't know what you're using, but just use it and tell everybody about us. <laughs> Fighting cool. couch potatoes. What up? We'll see you down the road. Fighting couch potatoes out. Bye.